It's hard not to be able to do that. Beautiful weather, beautiful place. It's, uh, it's a great week, isn't it? What, what did you feel when you got the call playing this? I was really excited. Yeah? yeah. You know, this is something that I'm not more other than what I'll bet. Because right, you're a golf. Yeah, oh, yeah. I grew up playing golf. I'm pretty much a passionate golf. I'm a golf. You know, when I found out that I was going to play, I was fired up. You hear so many people talk about it. It really was just a premier celebrity golf in the country. To be a part of it is awesome. Well, you fit two giant criteria for the field of this tournament. One is, if you play in the NFL, the sport is so popular, it doesn't really matter. Everybody knows you. Everybody knows your name, right? It's one of those things. It doesn't matter you had a bad, the team had a bad year last year. It doesn't matter. So you play in the league, and you improve the field. You're here to improve the field. You shot what yesterday? Uh, well, it was a practice round. So okay, was, okay, you know, okay. We were, uh, we were messing around. I, I kept it close to Okay. Uh, you know, hopefully, you, you know, the course is tough. It's, uh, it's a tough golf course. And, you know, obviously it's going to be a little different than touring in this one. There's a lot of people out there for the first time playing. Uh, you know, it's going to be a long game. You know, I'm just looking to go out there and break. Hopefully, if I play a little break, uh, it's going to be a little Todd Haley came out here a few years ago and just flat off. He was, at one point, a collegiate golfer. He was a great collegiate golfer, but he was a collegiate golfer. He was on a team. And he came out, and after he was done, he was like, I just had no idea, you know, all these people and, I, and nerves and whatever. And he just flat bombed. I think he shot 90 or something at one point. He was a collegiate golfer. Yeah. Are you concerned at all about what it, this is? There's a lot of people here today. There's going to be way more tomorrow. Are you concerned about that at all? What you might feel? No, I'm not concerned about it. You know, it's one of those things that you really don't know how to do it. I am a little bit out of my element. I am my own. I mean, uh, you know, you obviously are live out here. There have been a lot of people that have drawn, have drawn the comparison between an NFL kicker having a kick to win a game versus a golfer needing a putt to win a tournament. That it's pretty much the same thing. You're obviously a competitive you golfer. You're very good. You, when you play, you play to play well. You're not out there to goof around. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see the comparison? No question. Uh, I, and, and for me, it's been kind of fun because I've obviously, since I was in high school, I played football, I played junior, and growing up, I played golf. You go out with your buddies, and you know, there would always be hate. So this four footer, all right, this is the best one to win the match. Right. This one to win the USA. Right. So you always try to simulate like those situations. Um, you know, it really is for me. You know, a, a big percentage of it really is just, just that focus and that, that mind. Al Del Greco has had a lot of success in this tournament in the past. What is it about kickers? There have been multiple kickers that have participated in this that are good. I'm not trying to put any pressure on you. I'm going to tell you right now. You go in here and finish in the top five or top ten, and then you, you could do this long after you're kicking. You could come out here every year and do this. For, I mean, you know, they got to have good golfers in this room, right? Well, oh, uh, yeah. Well, hey, I would, I would love to be more as long as I can. Right. Like you know, 20 years or longer? That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't uh, it? That'd be awesome. I mean, this is, you know, we were actually last night at the meeting and we were talking to some of the guys that have played here. And, uh, you know, some of the guys have played here every day. And actually, I was sitting with Coach Furrier, who was obviously my coach in South Carolina. He looked at me and said, no, I haven't played this 23 out of 24 years. And, uh, you know, he had like to visit me. He can make it. He's going to be here. He, he looks forward to this you know, every year. Uh, it, it's just it's special. It's something, you know, it's really something cool. See, I'm talking about stuff that you're not supposed to talk about because if you played in this thing for 20 years, I hate to think how much money you can make. You're really good. And, you, and you know, you, if you go out and shoot at 68, for example, you're right at the top of the leaderboard. Oh, well, yeah, why not? Yeah. Why, just go win this thing. What are you thinking? Let's go. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you this. Yeah, I'm sitting at home playing, and there's a lot of good golfers. Here, so, there are. Uh, you know, there, there's going to be some great competition. Uh, a lot of good players. I'm not really trying to put any pressure on myself. I just want to go out there, relax, and have a have a good time. And uh, you know, if I happen to play well, that's awesome. And uh, if not, it's gonna be cool. just just know this: if you're you know in a group with Billy Joe Tolliver with nine holes to go on Sunday. And you're both, you know, 57 points or something like that, tied for second or third point. He's a lot more tired than you. Just know that. Just know that about some of these guys. You've got you've got a little bit of a leg up on some of the older guys. Well, that's that's good to hear. Man, especially with elevation, maybe that helps. Yeah, you exactly. Know, we were hiking around this morning. I was a little bit walking very far. And I was really, really? Yeah. It, uh, it kind of catches up with you. Of course, we were up on top of the mountain. Okay. No kidding. Uh, yeah, it was it was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. You guys got to get there. That's cool. How about, have you figured the yardages out? Does the ball fly more here? Yeah, no question. It goes further. Yeah, it's kind of like kicking them down. Uh, you know, like kicking them down is more for And I think it's a lot of people I think especially uh, yeah, later in the game. So yeah, you gotta, and that's kind of tricky. If you had a few kind of 
wedge that's usually 100 yards, it can be kind of difficult to get the, the yards right. So uh, it's just my favorite kind of time to come play and kind of get a feel. What's the strength of your game? Well, we'll see. Okay, uh, right. You don't you don't have like yeah, you know, a favorite club in your bag, boy. If I had this to yeah, win the so tournament, well, if, yeah. you're, if you're playing this last par five and you're tied for the lead, is it the drive that has you most concerned? Is it well the approach shot, the, a long putt? What would it be? Well, the thing about 18, you know, we played yesterday. Eight, 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 you gotta hit a good drive. If you hit a good drive, you gotta really change. How far did you hit it? You said eight. Uh, I don't know how far. I had, uh, I had about, I had eight iron. Driver eight iron, par five. Yeah, but it, no, that's a short par five. Well, I understand. Yeah, so I had driver eight iron. Didn't make birdie, so it didn't, didn't make the big bird. But, well, it, it, but the thing about the approach shot is it's tricky because that water's coming off the lake, right. rolling right to left, and you've got water just short and left of the green. So, so it really comes into play. Yeah. Uh, so you, you've got to hit two good shots, but you get two good shots, and you don't get two good chances. You'll take three birdies there, won't you? No question. Yeah. yeah. Question. How much are birdies worth? I'm sorry, I should know this. Uh, three, 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 three. There's three. nine of your 60 right there. Yeah, man, that's big. Right there on that hole. Go get them. Now you only need 51 on the rest of the golf course. Yeah, those are the other. We got to I think it's I think it's really cool that you're here, and I, I know you're going to have a chance to have success. That's great. Are you looking forward to this season? I won't ask you if you're looking forward to camp opening because camp stays. I mean, players don't like going to camp. I understand. You want to get into the season and have games and have moments and, and do your thing, but are you excited for this upcoming season and all the changes? Oh, my gosh. I am so fired up. And I think, you know, that uh, that's shared by all the players. You know, we're all, we're all really encouraged with everything that's going on. You know, we obviously, with everything that you know, John Dorsey and Henry have brought to Kansas City has just been extremely positive. We've had a great spring. Uh, you know, guys are really on it. We're working hard. And, uh, we, just, we can't wait to get out there. And, uh, you know, I'm actually excited about it. I'm looking forward to going out there and just kind of getting out the field and getting back to the uh, You know, we've been looking forward to going out there and getting back to the field. I've heard some people describe it as it just feels like there's more expectation from these people or it's more professional or something, that it's a completely different feeling environment. Do you already sense that? I mean, you haven't got any season ahead. Well, I, you know, just from my experience from the spring, you can definitely tell me every eye's dot, every knee's cross, uh, every little detail. And even particularly with you and my coach, you know, uh, you know, obviously they've been just on coaching Kevin and Dave and the assistants. I mean, just the, the detail that we're going through and uh, the way that we're preparing actually is going what is your off-season like? What is the thing, one thing you work on? I assume it would be accuracy. And you're, not, you're not looking to get two more yards. The thing that NFL, the way you stay employed in this league, is you make them all, or very close to all of them. Is that How do you work on things like that in the off-season? You know, one of the things I've been doing, uh, you know, I've kind of been doing this with Jeff, is just, you know, going out and instead of, you know, instead of just trying to make a kick, we're going out and we're actually kind of going out and going out and going You know, whether it be in the back of the net or somewhere. So we're aiming for some really small time. And that's really what really nice one of the things I've done. So, uh, I've really been focusing on the ball and just a lot smaller targets trying to hit that. And I'm, I'm really excited about what we're doing. All right, what did you think of Colquitt's contract? Oh, I was, I was, I was so happy for him. You know, Dustin is obviously one of my best friends. Uh, he deserves it. You know, he's a great guy. He's a great player. Uh, and it's good, it's good for Kansas City. It's good for the team. It's obviously it's great for him. He's a great part of the team. He just does everything the right way. I, I was fired up because I, I was a little nervous. I didn't, I didn't want to lose him as a friend. I didn't right. want to lose him as a uh, I was really excited about well, doesn't it say something that you play for a team that values the kicking game? I mean, he's the highest paid punter in NFL history. I mean, that, that's to me, that's quite a statement. I mean, they're sitting here, you know, left tackle, Brandon Albert, going to get franchise tag. They may just let him go. They drafted another guy. It seems to me that they really, these guys really value the kicking game. I haven't seen the Chiefs play a game under Andy Reid yet, but he must really value the kicking game. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, I think uh, you, you're seeing a, a huge emphasis put on the uh, special teams, uh, and, and you can see that with the coaches that we have. Uh, you can see that with the time that we continue you know, doing the practice that we're spending on special teams. Uh, you know, it, it's a big part of the game. You know, it's a part of the game, and uh, we can put ourselves to get the main issue. How hard would it have been for you to, have to try to work with your boy? Well, I'm, 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 I'm very blessed to have him take a look at him. He's a great old man. He's a great old man. We have a lot of fun with him. You know, we just we really enjoy each other's company. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's a good time. I'm out there. Can he golf at all? You know, Justin's not that much of a golfer, I'll be honest. He's a great athlete for golf. Not his thing, huh? Yeah, it's not his thing. He, you know, he's got all those kids going around, so I think it's hard for him right. to be a golf player. So, uh, yeah, he's he, he's a great athlete for golf. Well, you two spend a lot of time together. Yeah, yeah, we get to, we get to hang out. Which is fun. Uh, obviously, we're working a lot together. We, you know, we both enjoy the outdoors. So, you know, anytime that we get out, we go running or uh, you know whatever it is, we definitely.
traffic. Bring him out here next year and have a caddy for you. Yeah, I might have to talk to you about that. Yeah, I got a test at your school next year. I'm not quite sure I'm going to understand. Yeah, right. Let's right. 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 see. That's, That's a little bit of an issue. I'm, I'm going to put him to the test, but if he passes, I'd love to have that. So Who's right. carrying your bag? Uh, a buddy of mine, Matt Lake, is carrying my bag. Okay. He's a buddy of mine from South Carolina, get a really good golf. Okay. Which is good. It's, I think it's going to help me a little bit. He's played a lot of tournament golf. I think he'll be really good. Provide that experience and hopefully he'll start the year. We're here with Mark. You're serious about this, man. I love it. Oh, it's going to be fun. I love it. We're excited. Get out there and get on the leaderboard. I want to see you. I'm going to be back. I'm going home Saturday. So I want to, I want to be able to see you on Sunday on the leaderboard on the yeah, television. Hey, that would be, that'd be good. Fresh your putts. Go do it. And good luck this year. We'll see you in St. Jonah. We've got a week or so. Yeah, that's great. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate it, Ryan. Thank you. Ryan Suckup, Chiefs kicker, joining us here on the driving range at Edgewood Tahoe. He is a very, very good player, as uh, a lot of kickers have been through the years, and he's got a chance. So we'll see. It's his first time at the American Century Championship. Right, hey, fingers crossed. You can get up on the leaderboard and maybe uh, compete with the opportunity to win this thing. So Ryan Suckup joining us here on Between the Lines. Okay. So, nice That was really good, man. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that was awesome, man. That was good. Cool. Yeah, I'll try. Get some we'll talk about best football memory. Football oh, time. yeah. Best football memory? I got a lot of them. Best football memory. You know what? It, it was probably the New Orleans game last season. Uh, you know, I had a chance to pick six field goals, one and high, one to win it. And what was really neat about that was that. Uh, and this was cool. So my wife, her, her aunt, who's actually now passed away, was really sick with cancer at the time. They lived in New Orleans. And that was the only game they've ever seen me play. And they were actually able to come to that game. And it was just, it was cool how they all came together. That was probably my best game. Awesome, man. Thank you, brother. You got it. Appreciate it, man. Yep. Thanks. Have fun this week. You got it. Thanks. Hey, so I can, you're going to give me yeah, this? Absolutely. Yours. Yeah, absolutely. yours. You're going to forget the case. Thanks very much. Which, one, which case is it? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you that mind, way you can throw it in your golf bag or something, won't crush it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, Rob, I'll we throw those on real quick. Oh, yeah, throw, throw these on. Yeah, yeah, sure. Give it to 